Welcome to this Zentangle Quickie. My name is Heather Hartwig Gladden. I'm a certified Zentangle teacher. And today we're going to take a look at this new tangle called Love from CZT Angie Giddles. So I want to, besides the fact that this is a very nice pattern, brilliantly done, brilliantly done. I like what uh, Angie says on uh, the Tangle Patterns uh, site where this is housed. And the link for this is in the description section. And she says uh, she's been doing a lot of deconstructing of patterns, finally getting them into step out templates. But she's going to start with this one because the world could just use a little more love right now. So why not spell it out in a tangle, she says. And I'm like, that's just, this is just so brilliant. I love it. And, um, and I agree. And, <laughs> and as soon as I read that, I have, I, I think it's Dion Warwick's song in my head. If, <laughs> if you know the song I'm talking about, sorry. <laughs> Uh okay. And if you don't, that it's okay. <laughs> I think that's the artist. That's it's it, gosh, it's in my head. And I didn't bother to look it up before I did this. So all right, this one, this is a very nice grid pattern. And it starts off, we'll see. I don't honestly it doesn't matter which which way we're gonna do the direction, but I'm gonna you start with a diagonal line. I decided today I felt like using an 05 uh, because I'm doing this one uh, like a monotangle because I, I want to keep this quick uh, and, you know, and I just show you the one step and then you can take it from there. Or not the one step, you know, the tangle itself in one square and then you can have as much fun with it as you want. Okay, so looking at it from this direction where I have the, uh, the diagonal going from upper left to lower right. We're going to take this lower left section and basically aura the outside. So what I like to do when I'm doing this is I'm going to start, you know, in the corner, deciding how, you know, how far away I want that aura to be, and then drawing that straight line out. And we're just going to that diagonal line that we just drew. And that's it. Then in this section we just created, we're going to do a big orb. Now, I found it easiest to start on this center line and then meet back up to it. Sometimes things like that help, so that way I can just try to fill it, um, you know, as much as possible. I like to think of sometimes things like this, uh, like it's a bubble, and it can only fit so far into those corners. It's it, That's, you know, just the way it is as far as bubbles go, right? And that's what I try to do. Um, the tangle and zeppel is similar to that. That's how it, uh, that's how I heard it described. And I thought it was brilliant. So, but this one we want it to be more of an orb than fitting in, you know, to the to the space. So, keeping it as orby as possible. All right. Now, in this empty space that we have here, we're gonna aura, but we're gonna start the aura here. And so we're gonna aura the, the diagonal line and then the the right side. Okay. Then last step is in this section that we have now created. What I'm going to do is I'm going to start from, from this point and draw a straight line just down that center and then subdivide-ish. It doesn't have to be, you know, all the way across. It doesn't really matter. And that is it. And I think you can see and I, that's why I think it's brilliant. It makes me think, you know, of the of the stamp. Angie, I don't know how, you, oh, here, this would be so brilliant. You should find out, if you ever watch this, I should send this to you. I'll, I'll, I'll find your email. We'll connect. Send this to uh, whoever, you know, however you get on, on a stamp. Because, you know, they have the love stamp forever. This would be brilliant. So, so here we have the L, the O, the V, and the E. And it's, it's just fantastic. Now, you can decorate this however you want. And what's neat about this as well is you can do that. And I only have two here. You can do them in a grid this way. So it kind of turns it into um, a fragment because in, you could do it in 
a grid format and alternate, you know, the way they're put next to each other and have fun. You could do this also as a border. If you just, you do, you know, two lines across and, you know, and just make it, it's a one, like a one box grid. That could be your border. That's fun too. All right. So I did do it in a four square and I decided to start it, you know, right side up here. And then I turned and I did it again and turned. So that way, every time I turn the upper left is, you know, in the direction as the, as the step out. But then I decided to darken in, fill in the V and turn the O into an orb. And that's just how I decided to do this one. I, I, I don't know if I, I, I might play with it a little bit more. Actually, I could shade in um, those little corners as well. And that might, uh, actually, that might make it pop out a little bit more. But this is what's fun is that now you can have fun with it and decorate it how you wish to do. And um, it's just fantastic. Absolutely brilliant tangle. Absolutely brilliant. And yes, we do need we do need more um, going around. So give it a try. Spread the love. <laughs> so uh, if you enjoyed the video, would love to um, have you you know give us a thumbs up, and feel free to share. That would be sharing the love. And um, and if you have, if you like it enough to see more, I would love to have you be a subscriber to the channel. Of course, subscribing to the channel is free. Uh, let's see in, oh, in the description section also, besides the step outs, below the step outs, you'll find ways to connect with me if you wish to, if you enjoy, um, if this is the first video that you've seen and you enjoy the style, would love to have you maybe a, a come and check out a, one of the sessions that I put on on Thursdays. So I'm in Michigan. It depends on your time zone, but I do two sessions uh, in uh, 11 and 7 p.m. 11 a.m. 7 p.m. on Thursdays. It's a free session. I take a tangle and we explore that tangle and have fun with it. And uh, I do, there are some other ones that I do as well. I have some that are paid uh, and then, or that you have to pay for. And then I have a an additional Tuesday that I throw in a difficult tangle. I call it tough tangle Tuesday. And then sometimes we just make it a special, a special something. So it, it, that one can vary, but um, I'd love to have you join in. We have a lot of fun, have a great community uh, that has developed over the last couple of years. And it's just absolutely fantastic. So with that, oh, and then also, you know, and if you like it, come check me out for free. And then if you enjoy it, I do have a membership club. Uh, right now and until the end of April, no, no, excuse me, the end of May, um, I have a, an opportunity to, if you wanted to be a founding member of that club, it, uh, so it's, it's one price per month. So it's a subscription and you get all of the, the stuff that I do for free. Plus knowing that, um, you're helping support my ability to do the free stuff as well. Um, keeps me in pens and keeps the lights on and stuff like that. So, um, so anyway, if you enjoyed it, check it out. Would love to have you. And with that, thanks again. Thanks for listening if you listen to the end. I appreciate that as well. And I wish you lots of happy tangling. Spread the love.